loud. Say, I close by the blood of Jesus. Every satanic chapter in my life, I close by the blood of Jesus. Every satanic chapter in my life, in the name of Jesus, Open your mouth and begin to close it. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. We give you praise for bringing us to this service in this month of perfection. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, lay your hands upon us. Educate our spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Before you sit down, can you go to seven person and tell them my case is different? My case is different. Make sure they are serving the number. Shout hallelujah. Amen. That's the title of our short message. And after that short message, there's going to be a session of 28 case-changing prayers. My case is different. Can you shout it loud and clear? We'll read five scriptures very quickly. Exodus chapter 8, verse 22. Exodus chapter 8, verse 22. My case is different. Exodus 8, 22. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no son of flies shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst. So I will sever in that day the land of Goshen. I will differentiate. In Exodus chapter 9, verse 26. Exodus 9, 26. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. There was hail and storm somewhere else. In that land of Goshen, it did not appear. In Exodus chapter 10, verse 23, they saw not one another because there was terrible darkness. Neither rose any from his base for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. There was darkness all over the land. But in that small portion where the children of Israel were, there was light. In Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. Exodus 11, 7. But against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference, a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Now, Malachi, chapter 3, verse 18. Malachi is the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi 3.18. Malachi 3.18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. Thy must be, and there will always be a difference. One day, the so-called kidnappers, they kidnapped the unkidnappable. It was a woman, a child of God. They have been kidnapping people along those routes, and once those cars pass that route, nobody finds them again. Once they kidnap people pass that route, nobody sees those people again. That's the end. But one day they made a mistake. They kidnapped somebody whose case was different. A child of the living God. And the bondula put her in the boot of the car. And they were driving off. 
When they get to police checkpoint, oh, see, how are you? They knew them along those routes. They settled the police with money and they moved on. And they were going until the last police post. Because the case of this daughter of God was different. That day, the policeman they used to know was not on duty, was another person. I said, oh, see, how are you? I said, stop. I said, I said how are you? He said, fine, 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 but stop. And the policeman came out. Uh, open your boot. Sir, we always run this place. Why should we open our boot? Open that boot. And they open the boot to find the woman there. That's how God delivered her. Because a case was different. I see somebody here this morning. Others may be passing through things that is pulling them down. I have a word from heaven to somebody that your case is different. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Life itself is a mystery. Job said, a man that is born of a woman is of few days and is full of trouble. Life itself is a battle. Life is a mission. Life is so serious that people have said life is not easy. Life can either grind you down or polish you depending on you. Life is like a mirror. It never gives back more than what you put into it. It's what you show at the front of the mirror. The mirror will show to you. Life is a one-way street and nobody is coming back. There is no reverse gear in life. It is impossible to go back to yesterday now. Yesterday is gone and it's gone for good. The tragedy of life, beloved, is that we get wise too late. Get wise too late. And you see, at the end of the day, everybody will become wise. But the time of the wisdom is the problem. Some will become wise on their deathbed. Some will become wise at the gate of the grave. Some will become wise when they get to the gate of life and they say, I want to get inside this place. They say, no, you can't enter here. That's why the lesson of life is always repeated, repeated, repeated until you learn the lesson. And there is no true life until you find out who you are. When you do not know who you are, you are not really living, you are dead. That's why the way God has packaged life is like a loan given to somebody to go. So every one of us say whether we like it or not, whether we enjoy hearing it or not, we're living a borrowed life. And one day we we'll go back and give an account. Life is a long lesson in humility. That's why death is an equalizer. And no matter who you are, one day you enter into this ground. No matter how high you pull yourself, one day you're coming down there. So life really is a long lesson in humility. So when you see somebody who's very proud and you have too high a value of yourself, you don't understand life. When you see a person say, why are, you, why are you talking to me like that? Don't you know who I am? The question is, who are you? Do you have two heads or do you have three legs? Life is a long lesson of humility. And no matter who you are and how you are and how rich you are, when you die, nobody buries anything you have with you. Naked you came, naked you go back. And all the lipsticks and the painting and the special hair put on the head of the dead rots away within hours. Life goes forward. It is only human being who goes backward. Life is not always very fair. But life is unfair. And life is sometimes like a foreign language. And all men mispronounce it. And it will appear as if the whole world has become a large asylum. A large asylum. A large psychiatric hospital. Those who are giving the prescriptions are the patient themselves. Life is like a football game with everyone offside. Unless Jesus discovers you. Life is like a football game in which the players have chased the referee off the field of play. Life is more like wrestling than dancing. A battle of frustration and challenges. And if you come into the world and you have a colorful destiny, then you come under severe attack. That is life. So the bottom line of what I'm saying this morning, that life is not easy. 
life without the help of God is a disaster. You need to move into your personal land of Goshen. The land of Goshen was separated by God from the rest of the land. The people were in Egypt, although they lived in Egypt, just like we are living in the world now, but they were operating under a different divine law. That is supposed to be God's plan for your life. You are in the world, but you cannot and you should not be afflicted by the world. You are in the world. Although men are crying that things are hard, but you can boldly say, my case is different. My case is different. In the midst of the current pain in the world, it is good to know that as a child of God, your life is operating under a different law. Your economic life is not guided by your salary. It's not guided by your country's central bank reserve. It's not guided by any stock market report. But it's guided by what is written in Philippians 4.19. What does Philippians 4.19 say? Everybody? Sorry? My God shall supply my needs according to riches in glory. That is our own law. Our health plan is not guided by any health system, by any health hospital. It's guided by Exodus 15, 26. None of those diseases of the Egyptians shall come upon you. That's what it says. Your health plan is not guided by your local hospital. It's not by your health ministry. It's not by any local concussion. It's not by regular swallowing of drugs and vitamins and those things. But by Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. I am the Lord that he led thee. Your security is not based on any organization of man. It's based on Psalm 91. Which says, no evil shall befall thee. Neither shall any play come near your camp. Which says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. It's not based on any charm or any amulet. You need to enter into your personal Goshen. The message of Goshen is highly relevant these days. Children of Israel were in Egypt where they were living a different life. There was rain somewhere. They had peace. Storm in the other end. They had peace. There was darkness in the old land. They were okay. Can you declare this with a loud voice? As loud as you want it to happen in your life. I enter into my personal Goshen by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it three times! That's right. Amen. Goshen stands for finding peace in the midst of destruction. Finding peace in the midst of destruction. Am robbers went to a house. They met two sisters there. They finished robbing the first sister. And they went to the second sister. Bring your jewelries, bring your jewelries. He said, I don't have. So how can a woman not have jewelry? What kind of thing is that? So we don't use it in our church. So okay, where is your handbag? Where is your handbag? He gave them the handbag. They saw the logo of MFM on the bag. So what is that logo? That's our church. They said, Mountain of Fire. Dam Robert called his colleague. He said, come, 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 come. Rainbow, rainbow, come, come, come. Come. Don't touch this woman. They raided the others. And on their way out, he said, Madam. Don't pray against us. Because we did not take anything from you. Repeat what I said now. We did not take anything from you. Goshen is finding peace in this middle of destruction. Goshen is finding hope in troubled times. Goshen is not being controlled by your national statistics. Goshen is dwelling in the power of self-sufficiency. Goshen 
is the glory of God shining upon you in spite of the darkness around you. Goshen is exemption from plagues and storms. Goshen is sending a back to the sender courier letter to affliction. And I see somebody here this morning. Every affliction organized against you right now. Shabbat fire. Shabbat fire. Shabbat fire. Shabbat fire. Shabbat fire. Shabbat fire. In the name of Jesus. Let your voice roll like thunder. God told Lot. Escape from this city. Because this city will be destroyed. And look not behind you. Run for your life. And Lot ran. The wife who looked back became a pillar of salt. God drained fire and brimstone upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot was told, don't look back. Your family should not look back. But right there, Abraham stood on the mountain and was watching fire and brimstone falling upon Sodom and Gomorrah. It did not become a pillar of salt. His case was different. It was operating under a different law. Daniel's case was different. All those who have been thrown into the lions, then nobody came out. But by the time they got Daniel inside, the lions looked at him and said, Lions don't eat lions. This man is a child of the lion of Judah. So we can't hit him. Rather, let us lie down and make ourselves pillow so that he can sleep. His case was different. Touch not my anointed, the Bible says, and do my prophets no harm. Meaning that if you like, you can touch the others. But this one. <laughs> Don't touch this one. It's like that man that was threatened at the place of work. One native doctor man who is also a civil servant threatened him that he would die within seven days. And the brother started naivety. Started praying. On the seventh day, nobody has ever been threatened by that man in the office and the person did not die. That was in the railway corporation of those days. Seventh day, the brother prayed, slept. He had a dream. He found himself in a garden. And this man, this occultic man was outside the garden. And there was a tall, dark figure beside him. And he was telling the dark figure, that is the man we want to catch. Go and catch him. That's one. So this dark figure was saying, which one? He pointed to the man. said, that one. He said, ah. He said, sorry. We don't. We, we don't catch those people. They are the children of the most high God. We can't touch them. Let's catch another person. Say, no, I don't want another person. This man. Say, I just told you. We don't touch them. They are children of the Almighty. His mark is upon their forehead. Say, but this is the man I want. So they were arguing. They were telling the dark creature. Say, but we have a covenant that you will kill whoever asks you to kill. Say, well, say, I will go and try to catch him. But if I don't succeed, know that it will backfire on you. And that was the close of the vision. By the next month, the man was the one that died, not the brother. That's why I prophesy upon your life that any gathering of the coven to terminate your life shall be terminated. Shall be terminated. Shall be terminated. In the name of Jesus. Touch not my anointed. He said, do my prophets no harm. There are some people, they are God's favorite. Don't let anybody deceive you that there is nothing like God's favorite. God has favorite persons. The Bible says God does nothing unless he first tells his servants the prophets. Touch not my anointed. He says, you, my prophets, know how. If you want your case to be different all the time, then become God's favorite person. Then the promise of scripture that says, you shall be the apple of my eye will happen in your life. And who will go and put his finger into the eyes of the Almighty? If you want to be God's favorite, you want to be close to him. And that is your desire. He will draw you. If that is your desire, he will draw you into a life of crucifixion. He will draw you into a life where insult, whatever they say to you, has no effect on your body. He will draw you into a life of humility. You want to be close to him? He will draw you into a life of deep obedience. You want to be close to God? 
that it will draw you not to be able to follow other people or measure yourself by other Christians. It will draw you. And in many ways, it will seem to let others do those things that it will not allow you to do. It won't allow you to do it. Others may be doing it, you will say, no, not you, not you. I read an article last week. One of the top pop singers in Britain, she wrote the article. She said, why I will never use hair extension in my life. All this thing you call attachment. She said, why I will never use it again in my life. She carried out a research and discovered to her shock and amazement that many of those hair extension are ears cut from the mortuary, from the head of the dead. And plenty come from the temple where they worship idols, where people donate their air to the idol. The priest will sell the air. And they would, they, would, they would dispatch it to foolish people to buy. So all those things you are attaching to your head, and you are claiming it's tight, or your ear is short, you may jolly well be putting on the air of the dead. All those lipstick, you may jolly well be using the placenta of a dead baby, that those things you are applying on your lips. So if you want to be God's favorite person, he may allow others to be doing that work, but for you, he will say no. You want to be God's favorite person. It will allow others to, to be pushing themselves, pushing themselves, but you, you cannot do it. Others may meet their quiet time, they miss fasting, they eat when others are fasting, and things seem to be going on well with them. But you, no, if you miss it once, it will deal with you. Others may be scheming and be manipulating to get their way forward, but you, the person he wants to draw close, you can't do it. Other women may be sleeping with men to get contrast, and they may be getting the contrast, and they seem to be moving ahead, and they're asking you to join them. You can't copy them. If you copy them, you will meet with serious failure if you want to draw close to him. Others may be very, very careless with the opposite sex. Not you. You cannot. Others may be sleeping around and aborting pregnancies. If you want to be his favorite person, you cannot. You don't, you don't do those things. If you want to be his favorite person, if you try it, you almost die in the process. Others may be doing oral sex, anal sex, all, all kinds of sex. You cannot do it. If you do it, your heavenly visions will just vanish and your divine dreams will be removed. Others may be stealing from God. They, be, they are stealing their tithes. They are not paying it correctly. You cannot if you want to be his favorite person. Others may be drinking and smoking and they come into church to pretend. You cannot do it. Others may be requiring in-laws, third parties to settle their family correct. You cannot because he wants to draw you close. Others may be boasting of themselves, being proud everywhere, but you cannot do such things. That is, you want to be his favorite person. But if you don't want to be, you can go ahead with any kind of life that you are living. Others may go to prostitutes. They may do all kinds of academic and uh, crude prostitution. You cannot. Because you are, God has an agenda for your life and you want to be close. Others may dress to kill. You cannot. Because your own dress is the armor of God. Others may attach marine hair and all that kinds of evil attachment on their hair. You cannot. Your hair is your glory and you want the Lord to be your friend. Others may decide not to repent and be doing all kinds of rubbish. Others may be living one life in the church, one life outside. You that you want to be his favorite person, touch not my anointing. You cannot. Others may be playing spiritual bats. You cannot because bats do not become God's favorite person. Others may be comfortable without the baptism of the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. You cannot stay like that. You just cannot stay. Others may prefer to be Sunday, Sunday Christian, drinking Sunday, Sunday tablets. But you cannot because if you do that, you will, your well may run dry. Other Christians may be doing what they like. You cannot. If you want to be his favorite person. So the bottom line of what I've said in a few minutes now. That you are as close to God as you personally want to be. I believe God. And there will be somebody in this morning service who will say, I want to be your favorite. I too want to hear you calling my name. I want my case to be different all the time. We have prayers to pray here. And this is exactly where we're going. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, better do so very quickly now. Very, very quickly. By raising up your right hand, and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, 
the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Beginning from tomorrow now, there is a, a new motivational Bible study starting here. And the theme is living an extraordinary life for those who love their destinies. Those are the kind of meetings to come to and listen to the Bible studies. Amen. Now listen. The Spirit of God has plenty of things to do in our lives here this morning. The time we are going to spend here now, make it useful unto your destiny. Make sure that the approval of heaven comes upon your life. So the first prayer I'd like you to pray out of the 28 is a prayer of fire and power. It is a prayer of the violent ticketed by force. The louder you pray, the better. The more aggressively you pray, the better. Can I hear everybody shouting this way? I will shout my own. Anointing in the breaks the yoke. Come upon my Lord. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Is that the loudest you can say it? Let your voice roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Immediately we started praying those prayer. A mighty angel of God came into the midst and is ready for all the other prayers we're going to pray now. We have a short time to pray them. So don't waste time and let your voice roar like thunder. Don't be tired. Oh God Allah! Complete the good things you have started in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Complete the good things you have started in my life. Maseta kaya bo shenderaba. In Jesus' name, we pray. That person over there, you are inside your mother. And your mother is inside you. But that mother is dead. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken from your life. That's, that's the person over there. Say, my life. Hear the word of the Lord. Disappoint my enemies. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Tell your life to disappoint the enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power assigned to terminate my life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to bury such powers. That's right. Bury them now. In Jesus' name we pray. Of discouragement and fear. My life is not your candidate. Duh! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masekaya bo shendera bo konteraba. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus. Name we pray. 
Why is someone here, you are a firstborn. But everything that is to make you firstborn has been withdrawn and completely transferred. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke of backwardness is broken instantly. That's number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. Yes. Every yoke affecting my destiny. Can I hear your voices running like John? Black, black, black. In the name of Jesus. Break the yoke. Break it. Jesus name we pray say my father show me your hidden treasures <laughs> somebody needs to pray this person my father show me your hidden treasures in the name of Jesus show me your hidden treasures. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Wickedness of the wicked. A sign against my star. If you are that person who has been losing your job and losing your job and losing your job, pray this prayer now. If you are that woman that everybody you know, your husband, your in-laws, they are giving you trouble, pray this one now. Wickedness of the wicked. I sign against my star. Expire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Wickedness of the wicked. I stand against my star. Expire. In Jesus' name we pray. Huh. Yes. As many sisters, they want the power of God to fight for them within 24 hours. They should shout this loud and clear. Elijah arise draw your sword draw your sword fight for me let me hear the sister shouting in is that the loudest the sisters can pray this prayer aha let the voices of the sister roar like thunder. Aha. Let me hear the brothers roaring like fire. Everybody should get out. Aha. Do your song. In the name of Jesus. That's right. He must draw his sword. I'll fight, 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 I'll fight. My name. Can you shout that loud and clear? Wither! In the name of Jesus, command them to wither. 
Nice drive. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, reveal the plan of the enemies to me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let the Lord reveal their plans to you. Aha, 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 aha. Reveal their secret plans. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this the way I'm going to say my own. Don't worry even if you don't understand the prayer point. Say, I break off every poison. I break off every poison. Fire it to my blood. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, begin to break it off. Break off every poison. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord, change me. And use me to change my world. Oh Lord, change me. And use me to change my world. In the name of Jesus, change me. Use me to change my world. Oh Lord, change me. And use me to change my world. In Jesus' name we pray. So where I am not known. Oh God, arise. Raise a voice for me. Where I am not known. Oh God, arise. Raise a voice for me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and ask for a voice of the race to support you. Makate sente yabo shende rabo kontia. In Jesus' name we pray. Where I was tolerated. I shall be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Where I'm being tolerated, I shall be celebrated. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Where I was rejected, I will be selected. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. The power that promoted Joseph. Let me hear your voice running like thunder. Shall I change my story in the name of Jesus. The power that promoted Joseph. Shall I change my story. In Jesus' name we pray. The power that destroyed Pharaoh shall change my story in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. My breakthrough is not negotiable. I move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus. My breakthrough is not negotiable. I move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. My breath is not negotiable. I move forward by fire. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I, Daniel Olukoya, shall arise and shall in the name of Jesus arise and shine. Jesus' name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Shout his love. Arise! Accelerate my celebration. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Accelerate my celebration. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, make me your showroom. Can I hear you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus name we pray. Miracles beyond explanation. Locate my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah. Raise help us for me. Yes. After the order of Daniel, yes. oh God, Allah, raise help us for me. In the name of Jesus, yes. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray the mouth that attacks me shall be silenced in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare that one truth silence every attack him out thank you Jesus
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I separate evil from my portion. Can I hear you saying this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Aha. That's right. name we pray three more prayers three more prayers let my lips and my mouth become power in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it. that's right Jesus name we pray every power of reproach die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray Somebody in this meeting, I have a strange word of prophecy for you. The Lord said, Every day of this week you are entering to shall bring you uncommon testimonies. Every day. Thank you, Jesus. Say, so, My enemies, dig your hole and dig it well. Can you say that loud and clear? Fall into it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare now. Dig your hole, dig it well. But you fall into it in Jesus' name. We pray. The Lord will bless you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And in this first Sunday of the month of perfection, every prayer you have prayed on this first Sunday, we envelope you with testimonies for the rest of this month. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus' name we pray.